Hi guys, so this is part two of my eyeshadow palette collection and very slight declutter. The fact that I have to re-record this is so annoying. There's nothing worse than hard drive failing. So I'd already pre-recorded this ages ago and I did declutter quite a bit from this round. And I have since then either trashed the ones that are old or given away the ones that um, are still really good that I wanted to give to friends and family. And I don't have the footage, so I can't really remember all the palettes. But, um, what can we do? We have to move. So I am going to re-record re parts of the collection video, the parts that I don't have the clips for anymore. And then I'm going to add the bits that I still have the clips for. So you are going to see me change my clothes. <laughs> so, and maybe position is going to be slightly different. But just know that that's what happened. So we move. Hard drives have issues. What can we do? We just have to just keep going. There's nothing else to do but just to keep going. So without further rambling, let's jump into part two of this eyeshadow collection. So in this part, I am going to be showcasing a lot of Revolution palettes. Now in my summer collection video, I did showcase quite a number of Revolution products. I have since then decluttered and downsized my Revolution collection a little bit. I've given friends and family in places, so I don't really have as big a collection, but it is still quite big. So we're going to quickly run through a lot of the products, some of which I received this year, and some of which I purchased. So this is the Mini Avocado Palette. I purchased this because I really wanted the Avocado Eyeshadow Palette, and at the time it wasn't available. So I went for this one because it did have the colors that I, you know, that I was interested in. So you've got some really beautiful shimmer shades and that brown shade. Like the colors in this palette are very stunning. And I love the fact that it's a mini palette, so which just makes it easy to like throw together eye looks. Plus it reminds me of the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsession eyeshadow palette. So quite happy to have this one. So it's not going anywhere. I haven't actually used it. I've only swatched it. Next up are the um, Friends Revolution eyeshadow palette. So I've got this one in Phoebe. Phoebe is the one that is very unique. I haven't used these. I've only swatched it. But the color story of this one is very, very pretty. I've also got that glitter shade called Science Boy that is just absolutely stunning. I really love the consistency and I love the look of this palette. It is a little bit light for me, so I would have to use this as an accompanying palette. But I do like the um, eyeshadow itself. I did take a lot of palettes out of their packaging <laughs> in the first round, so I think I'm going to be doing that because there's some lingering. So I am going to hang on to that because I've not had a chance to play with it on my eye. Um, the Monica palette, however, I have used. So in case if you're interested, definitely check out my channel. I do have um, unboxing and review of the Friends collection, both series. So series one and series two. So this is what this one looks like. This one is a more user-friendly, everyday type of eyeshadow palette. This color called Gala Cup is very stunning. If you use that with Thanksgiving, you've got such a beautiful, like, ruby red type of look. I do like this palette. I love how easy they are. They've got mirror, so it just makes it easy to just use. So I'm going to hang on to that. And then the last one is the Rachel. This is my least favorite one. But I am hanging on to it because, as I said, I've only either used it once or not use it at all. This one I have used once and I used pushover and a little bit of crush and I wasn't disappointed in the quality. I just feel like the tones are a little bit boring <laughs> is the word but then again it's off the back of the Friends TV series like they didn't wear any fun crazy colors on the series so it is true to form. So I'm keeping all three for now. And then I've got my Revolution X Carmi Kiss of Fire eyeshadow palette. So this is the first one. Carmi did do two um, collections with Makeup Revolution. So this is the first one. And I remember 
I love this palette. I used to use it a lot. That shade is a very beautiful highlighter. It's just absolutely stunning and it blends really well into the skin. The shades are super pretty. I also use this one as a highlighter to give me more of like a pinky rose gold type of highlighter. So it is a very pretty palette and I'm definitely hanging on to it. Next up, I've got the Tommy X Revolution. This is the second release and this one is the Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. I'm keeping all my Tammy palettes because I really love the quality of her shadows and I love the color combinations. Having a roll of shimmer shades at the top. I don't want to blind you guys. There we go. Having a roll of shimmer shades at the top is genius i really love that and i love the pops of color it's such a beautiful colorful eyeshadow palette and the shimmers just work really nicely the colors are absolutely stunning just swatch the, these two shades look at that green look at that it's an absolutely gorgeous palette so i definitely haven't used it as much as i should I'm definitely hanging on to this. I really like her collaboration palette. I think I can do without. No, actually, I need the name. Speaking of Tammy, I also have the first one. This one is the Tropical Paradise palette. Mine is quite old. I got mine the day she released it. And I really wanted to support her because I was so happy, so proud that she finally had her own collaboration with Revolution. Well deserved. I do love the colors in this palette. For a long time, this was my go-to eyeshadow palette. You can see that these two shades have been used and abused. I do need to play with it a little bit more. It is slightly old, but I do want to see if the quality is still there. If it isn't anymore, I'll probably chuck this one and buy myself a new one because I do love the color story and yeah i love me some tammy right so for series two of the friends x revolution collection we've got the taxi palette so it's literally in shape of a taxi looks like this it's got a lot of shimmers in this palette so this is a very shimmer heavy eyeshadow palette it's a cool tone neutral palette with few pops of warmer tone browns but for the most part it's a very shimmer heavy palette swatches beautifully looks beautiful has imprints of taxi in it but i haven't used it so i can't say more than that other than it swatches nicely so for series two they actually came out with three big eyeshadow palettes the taxi the lobster and also the open the door which literally looks like the door from the uh, series. So this is the Lobster Palette. This is the one that I've got a look and review here on YouTube. So if you're interested, I'm very, very impressed with the quality of this eyeshadow palette. I also love the color story. It isn't a wow color story, but then again, it's off the back of the TV series. So I'm not expecting like some really mad colors. Um, I think it's a basic... It's a basic neutral tone eyeshadow palette with pops of silver and grey just at the bottom here. It's a beautiful eyeshadow palette, pigmented, easy to blend and the shimmer shades are absolutely stunning. Plus it does come with a mirror so I am going to hang on to this. Next up we've got the Revolution Illusion eyeshadow palette. This is basically a very pretty packaged palette but then you've got loads of like i want to call them pressed glitters or maybe pressed shimmers they look like pressed pigment press something because this blue look at that and then this silver silver isn't picking up as okay i take that back look at the blue look at the silver and just look at that I think they're press glitters, to be honest. But look, does that not look absolutely gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. So that's the reason why I'm hanging on to this. 
next up we've got the this collection i call this the shattered glass collection but it really isn't but this collection came out with highlighters and sprays and whatnot and actually the the, the release was really pretty really well done revolution did a thing but then obviously the shine was taken away when manny came out with his video comparing his prism highlighter with the ones that came out with revolution so i think that took away from the release of this collection because a lot of people that had these palettes really didn't want to showcase them on their page but i still did a review and i still posted it because the day i posted my video was the day manny posted his video so mine was already up so i'm just i'm just happy that i had the opportunity to review it because it's such a beautiful collection and i hope revolution do more of such like the theme was just perfectly executed it was just such a beautiful collection so this one is called black ice and the quality of these palettes are amazing i'm not just saying that it's such a beautiful i mean i can't swatch everything but if i was to swatch some of it like look at that just look at that the quality is just gorgeous so revolution definitely did something with this collection and it's just a shame that um something else overshadowed the release of this collection um so because of it i don't really use it on my channel i still think that revolution are selling this palette so i am gonna hang on to it but because i think the quality is amazing and i need to use it myself even if i use it off camera and the second one is called glass mirror this one has more of a bluer theme to it this is what it looks like it's very pretty as well i'm definitely keeping them and then for the holiday collection this year they came out with two eyeshadow palettes so two of the mega star eyeshadow palette this one's called diamond edition and i do have uh, a review and tutorial here on youtube using these palettes so this one is more of like a neutral tone this is more of a neutral tone type of eyeshadow palette with gold and bronze color so freaking pretty guys like you literally need to watch the video they blend so well the shadows are so pretty so that's this one this one has more of a warmer color story to it and then the second one is the one that came slightly broken at the hinge so i had to glue it and this one's called crystal Lux. this is more of a cool tone type of finish this looks like that so you've got cool tone browns you've got silver and cool tone blending colors still absolutely gorgeous so i like these two definitely hanging on to them next up i've got a couple of reloaded eyeshadow palettes this one is my favorite this one's called velvet rose and it's a neutral tone eyeshadow palette actually reminds me of the abh soft glam palette a little bit so this is pretty you've got neutral tones you've got that black and i've recently used this in a shop my stash and i do enjoy the quality of these shadows and then i've got this one in empire which is an all shimmer palette but one i don't know why i'm hanging on to this palette to be honest now that i look at it um am i really gonna use it probably not so i'm gonna declutter this one and then see i'm decluttering something else <laughs> and then i've got this one which is the euphoria palette which looks like this again am i really gonna use this um if i wanted a, a colorful drugstore eyeshadow palette have i got one other than ColourPop? so now i'm gonna hang on to this but i am gonna declutter this one and then from xx revolution i do have a review of this collection so this is the gold gold collection that recently came out 
I do have a full review and makeup tutorial here on my YouTube channel but this is the eyeshadow palette and I love this palette I gave it raving reviews I think the quality is amazing I think they swatch beautifully and they apply beautifully on the lid so if you're on the hunt for like a really bright shimmer I mean I can't warm tone gorgeousness then definitely check out this one plus the box um the packaging is quite handy it does come with a mirror it's super light it could do with being a little bit thinner but i really love the effect of it like the shadows are in 3d as well it's just detailed the detail is amazing so do without the box and then we have And we have these two eyeshadow palettes. So these are the Wild Animal palettes. This one is in, in Integrity, which looks like this. And I've only used these palettes once on Instagram. That's what it looks like. It's a nice, colorful eyeshadow palette. Now that I look at it, do I have the same tones in this one? Yeah, but some of them are matte, so. Okay, so that's Integrity. We'll hang on to this. And then we've got Fierce. Fierce is the one I've used quite a number of times on my Instagram because it's a warm red type of color story, which looks like this. Very summertime ready eyeshadow palette. So I love the quality of these. I'm definitely hanging on to them. And then I've got a couple of the Forever Flawless palettes. I say a couple. I mean a good few. <laughs> the first one is the first ever Forever Flawless palette I picked up. I picked this palette up even before a Forever Flawless palettes became a thing. And this one is the Optimum palette. This is super old in my collection. Like I haven't even used it. But I bought it ages ago. And this is what it looks like. It is my kind of color story. Why I haven't used it, I don't know. But this has inspired me to do like a week of Forever Flawless palettes or something because this color story is just insane. It's beautiful to me and I can't wait to use it. The next one that I have is the Showstopper palette. I haven't used this either. What it looks like beautiful purple tone palette a couple of press press glitters and press pigments in this one as well these palettes are really really good quality like really really good quality um and then this one i took part in the i am i am forever flawless campaign that revolution did on tiktok so they sent me this and i used it in my take and this is constellation this is a very shimmer heavy palette still with a couple of mattes but the shades that i would tend to use as mattes are more shimmer shades so it did come out looking beautiful like i did an all shimmer look on my eye and first time <laughs> doing that and I absolutely enjoyed it. Like some of these shimmer shades are a little stiffer. So they work a little bit well. They work like um, matte shades a little bit. But yeah, now I'm rambling. But basically I enjoyed it. <laughs> a few more. I've got the Flam... What's this? Yeah, the Flamboyance palette. I have swatches of this on my uh, Instagram as well and i've used this a couple of times on my instagram this is the one i'm least um excited about in terms of the color story and even in terms of the finish i think that shade is a little bit difficult that shade as well is a little bit difficult to pick up and the matte shades are a little light for me like that is the darkest matte shade in this palette so i'm not really excited about this particular one And then I've got the Birds of Paradise one. This one's very bright, but I have not used it. It's like a neon type of palette. 
gorgeous loads of matte shades beautiful matte shades and i've got the ice palette this is the one that is a good dupe for the jeffree star blue blood palette as well as some other colourpop nine pan palettes looks like this i've used this a couple of times and i rave about it i love the quality the pigmentation ease of use blue can be a bit challenging to use if you don't know what you're doing but this one just makes life easy and then i've got the fire palette These two came out together. So this one as well, I've used a couple of times on my Instagram. And it's a beautiful warm tone. Summer ready, autumn ready eyeshadow palette. Keeping. And then the last one that I've got is the Chilled with Cannabis Sativa. This one was a must. And I've used this a couple of times and I've swatched the life out of it as well. It's a gorgeous green, like woodland type of green eyeshadow palette with those browns in it to just give it a, a slightly different finish. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I am going to do a week of and see how I get on but I am definitely keeping all of them for now all right so we're in the second draw the first palette is this revolution pro um regeneration palette in legendary I had a bunch of these palettes and I decluttered a lot of them I gave them to friends and family but I had to keep this one this one just the colors in this one just screams to me I haven't used it, don't know why I haven't used it, I haven't even swatched it, but it's so pretty and I will definitely be using like this shade right here called Just with Sand and a little bit of Truth on top, yes, so keeping this. Next I've got these Revolution Pro um, Color Focus Shadow Palettes. So this is more like a catch them all type of thing for me because I really love the quality of these Revolution Pro palettes. So this one is called Rock and Royal. And this is a color story. It's purple with a few dual chrome shadows. Like this is a dual chrome shadow. You can see it's got hints of green in it. So definitely I'm hanging on to all of them. Um, and I think I do have all of them except for the black one, which I'll definitely be purchasing the minute I get a chance. This one is the Nude on Nudes. I do have a review on my channel using these two together. So if you're interested. So Nude on Nude looks like this. It isn't quite a nude eyeshadow palette like you would expect. So it's such a good surprise. I absolutely love the color story. The looks I created with this palette gorgeous and then bronze glow as well look at that oh absolutely stunning absolutely stunning and then this one i haven't used but i've swatched it a few times this is a night and day and i don't know why i haven't used it it's got a couple of dual chrome shades in there as well this one this one this one so freaking pretty this one I've used, Smoke and Mirror. No, actually, this one is brand new. I haven't used this one. This is Smoke and Mirror. I don't know why I haven't used it. Like, I haven't even swatched it. Madness. And then this one I've used a few times called Truth or Bear. I really love these. These work well with a finger. They work well with a brush. They work well without a damp brush. They work well with a damp brush. They're just... I mean, the formula is just amazing, these ones. So I'm keeping them all. Okay, next up, I've got the 24K Gold Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this. I decluttered the older I Heart Revolution 24K um, Chocolate Bar Palette in my Part 3, I believe. So this one, I'm more than happy to hang on to. Such a good formula. I do have a review here on my YouTube channel if you're interested. And then I've also got these um, Lux Shadow Palettes, the new neutral palettes in a couple of shades. This one is 
uh, new neutral this one is Lux shadow powder this one I think is the first one so it didn't have a name but this is the one that um, was a dupe for the Huda Beauty new nudes palette huh. was it is it new nudes or Huda Beauty nudes palette that's what it looks like I mean it even has a base like ain't nobody got time for a concealer base The next one is the smoke palette which looks like this i mean i could really do without these glitters in here but it's a stunning palette i have used this as well on my um instagram and i created a smoky eye with this palette and it was stunning so hanging on and then this one's passion palette i've used this as well on instagram gorgeous i could do with using it a little bit more and then this one is blush i don't think i've used this one no i haven't used this one why haven't i used this one it's so freaking pretty look at that look at that blue called gala stunning and then this was the first one i came out over a christmas period and this one is all that glistens who remembers this palette I love this palette. Some of the matte shades are a little dry and again I could do without the pressed glitters in this palette which is quite a lot but for the most part I do like this palette. And then I've got these XX Revolution palettes. I love them because they come in a velvet luxe type of packaging and they are so nice to touch and so pigmented. This one is in shade Vortex look at the packaging and it's a really blue blue toned eyeshadow palette stunning i did have a couple more of these and i decluttered them these are the ones i really wanted to hang on to i think i had a brown one it's gone now and then this one is tuxedo this one's cool tone Oh, this is the brown one. <laughs> no, I think I had a lighter brown. I'm not sure. But I know I decluttered one or two of these palettes. So this one's called Tuxedo, which is a cool tone palette. It's just a unique color story. That's why I'm hanging on to it. But I could do with using these a bit more. Um, I don't really see that many people talking about them. So I need to use them and see how they perform. But I am keeping all of them. The next up, my only makeup obsession palette. This one is the Ruddy Dusk Shadow Palette. I've swatched this, but I haven't actually used it on my eyes. But the color story is just gorgeous. I mean, there's some shades in there I probably wouldn't use, but there are most shades that I definitely would dip into. Like, that is beautiful. That color, that color, that color, that color. I would use maybe that color. I would use... So I do like the color story. Um, I mean, I could depart the ones that I want, but I think I'm going to keep it as is for now. And then I've got the Golden Honey palette. It's a neutral eyeshadow palette. I haven't used it, but I kept it because I really wanted a full-on neutral drugstore eyeshadow palette. But I haven't used it, but I've heard that the quality of these palettes are amazing. And then I've got this one, which is a gift. So this is the Feels palette i'm definitely keeping it because it's a cool tone neutral palette plus it was a gift i'm super appreciative so i'm hanging on to it i love it i haven't even used it so okay. next up we've got a couple of donut palettes and these are the iheart revolution donut palettes i had way more but i've given quite a number of them away to my niece so this one is called sugar coated and it is a cool tone color story stunning these are so cute this one's called cinnamon sugar oh that's a bronzer i keep opening that. i need to get that one out so this one's called custard fill which looks like that it's all shimmer haven't used it this one's called chocolate caramel oops cool tone haven't used it this one's called 
cherry pie all shimmer it's gorgeous isn't it having used it i've used this one uh blueberry crush it's okay this one was okay it was it didn't blow my mind but it was okay and then this one's called mint chocolate chip oh look at that all shimmer gorgeous this one's called strawberry sprinkles this one has two matte shades in it the rest are shimmer And then I've got peanut butter and jelly, which looks like that. Again, I haven't used it. That is stunning. Oh, I can't deal with these things. Gorgeous. So I'm keeping all of them. I do want to do, again, a week of these mini palettes because I don't really see that many people talk about them either. And then I've got two more eyeshadow palettes to show you guys before I cut into the other clips that I do have. So I've got the Ultimate Crystal Palette in Adorned. I do have a tutorial of this palette on my YouTube channel. But the pigmentation of this is gorgeous. The shimmers are a little thicker and a little stiffer than I'm used to. But for the most part, it is stunning. Stunning. So the very last one that I've got before I cut into the next clip is the X Tuli, um, is the Lottie X Tuli collaboration. I recently got this to do a video for a project, and I did have this in my collection, but my sister <laughs> plied it away from my hands, so I had the opportunity of picking it up again. This is such a good palette. Like those shimmer shades are disrespectful. I think X Tuli did a great job with this palette. I enjoy using it. All right. All right. So the next one is the Revolution Glow Shadow Palette. Um, I love this palette. So I did a review here on, on YouTube showcasing this palette when it came out as well as the Revolution Glow line. And their bronzers, their um, body glows and brushes. I mean, it's just a really, really beautiful line. So this is what the palette looks like. I really love the range of tones. You've got neutrals. You've got that pop of blue, which I wished was a matte shade. It's a shimmer shade, but it's still very, very beautiful. You've got the black. And it's just a really good balance of matte and shimmer shades. And the palette is very, very pigmented, very affordable, and you get so much quality for the amount that you're paying. So definitely check out my review if you're interested in this palette as well as the product line. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one that I will be hanging on to. Next up, I've got this one, um, which is the Patricia Bright collaboration with Revolution. And she did... A full collection of two eyeshadow palettes, a couple of face palettes, and this is one of the eyeshadow palettes. This one is called Rich in Color. This is the beautiful, colorful palette. I've used this palette a couple of times. I didn't do a review on my YouTube channel, but I did use it on my Instagram quite a bit. And I love the range of colors. Again, not a huge fan of the putty type of eyeshadows. But I still enjoyed this palette nonetheless, and it's still a very, very beautiful palette. Um, so I think I'm going to hang on to it for now. I haven't used it a lot, so I really like the packaging and I really like the pigmentation from the palette. comes with a good size mirror, so I'm going to hang on to it for now, but I think I'll do without the box in this light. Next one is a collaboration with Tammy. This is a Tropical Twilight palette. This is Makeup by Tammy's third collaboration with Revolution. Well and truly earned collaboration. I do love Tammy and I love her um, tenacity and the tutorials and everything that she does on her page. I think she's a fantastic creator. So obviously when she came out with the third collaboration with Revolution, just like the first two, I had to support her and pick up the collection. I do have a review on my YouTube channel. I think that she did a banging job with this palette. I really love the colors in here. I really love the arrangement. I love the matte shades that are neutral running across the top. 
that transformational shade called firefly it's also a glitter shade stunning this is just personal preference but putty eyeshadows do my head in and again that is personal preference if you've been watching me on youtube for a while you know that i moan about it every time i experience it in every eyeshadow palette but i love her palette it's a beautiful color i think she did a great job definitely check it out if you're on the hunt for an inexpensive palette that you get a range of neutrals and beautiful colors um for like bright colorful looks i think this would be a great travel palette in my opinion so definitely check it out but i will be hanging on to it um i really love tammy so we'll keep this and i'm gonna keep the palette in the box because it's gorgeous <laughs> next up is the friends um x revolution series one eyeshadow palette so this is the one with um eyeshadow palette this is the big one that came out with the first release again comes in the tin packaging like the patricia bright palette and i did a review on my youtube channel showcasing this palette as well as unboxing some of the other stuff that came in the collection i do love these colors i'm a huge friends fan do i have their t-shirts and mugs and am i obsessed no but i do watch the series quite often so i do know the shade names and the inspiration behind them and i think the colors are absolutely beautiful this would work for an everyday um eyeshadow palette day to night type of thing and you've got this range of shimmer shadows running across um, running through the middle which makes it a really good versatile palette so pigmentation is there as well so i'm gonna hang on to this as well and i'm gonna hang on to it with a box <laughs> right so up next i've got some iheart revolution palettes um so this one is the cinnamon eyeshadow palette it looks like this very pretty um a bit of a disclaimer i haven't used a lot of these palettes i don't think i may have swatched them but i haven't used it yet so for example i haven't used this palette um but i do love the color story it does have like a cinnamon kick to it which is quite yummy actually because i do love cinnamon i love the color story and i think it's such a pretty palette i haven't used it so i can't tell you what the quality will be like but it looks really good so i'm keeping that one this one i have tried and this is the popcorn palette this is what it looks like like literally this is just packaging goals i think i Heart revolution do packaging like none other so cute unfortunately for me i didn't quite enjoy this palette too much um the pigmentation isn't a hundred percent but the color story is very grungy very me blue greens bit of purple so i do love the color story i just think that you need to work a little bit harder to get the true payoff that you're looking for but the color selection is very very stunning plus the packaging is just divine it's just cute so i'm gonna be keeping it i'm not decluttering much today am i <laughs> the next one is the um uh, what's it called this is a pizza palette. now this is the tasty pizza palette comes in like a pizza slice type of packaging which is so cute this one i have used and abused i do love this one i love it because the shimmer shades are just everything that shimmer shade called neapolitan is gorgeous um mari mari marinara is gorgeous as well the matte shades are a little bit to be desired except for pepperoni pepperoni is such a good shade i think for the most part it's a good it's a decent um eyeshadow palette and I do recommend it if you are on the hunt for something fun and inexpensive. And these palettes come with um, a good sized mirror as well. Next is the Hot Dog Palette. I don't think I've used this one. Um, pretty sure I haven't. This is what it looks like. Again, comes like a hot dog. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, yeah, I definitely haven't used this one and wow why haven't i used it the color story is just beautiful 
you've got these warm shades i could have used this over um the autumn periods but i love that color mustard that they chucked in there i think that works really well with grilled i think it's a really really nice eyeshadow palette so i'm gonna be hanging on to this for sure especially the fact that i haven't even used it it's ridiculous isn't it this one i have used and this is the chocolate cherry palette i actually used this quite recently to be honest um i did an instagram look using this palette and i love it it's so romantic so pretty very very girly colors the shimmer shades are really nice though i had to dig my brush in a little bit more than i'd like to get the shimmer shades to pick up i think for the most part it's a beautiful palette and i am definitely keeping it i bought a new base from p louise which has like a hint of pink in it so i think it's really gonna make these shadows like work next up this is the revo poochies um eyeshadow palette i know they came out with an another one and I think there's a cap version. Don't don't quote me. <laughs> I'm not sure. But um, this palette is pretty. I love the colour story. Unfortunately for me, the shadows leave a little bit to be desired. The shimmer shades are really, really chunky. And as you guys can see, I really dug my brush in there to try and get the shades. But the payoff is in there. It's just one of the revolution palettes that just didn't hit the mark for me. But packaging-wise, stunning. So for now... I love it it's so cute so i'm keeping it solely for the packaging it's, you can see how it's just made a mess here it's that's how chunky the pal the, the um colors are i mean it's so cute it's just really cute i'm just gonna hang on to it because it's cute right so we do have some more so i've got this one this is a recent one and this came in the um cherry chocolate christmas gift set from iheart revolution and this is the black cherry palette i did review this on my youtube channel and it is a i'm blind you guys right so i did review this on my youtube channel and it's a beautiful eyeshadow palette definitely check out the review i recommend this so i'm definitely keeping it i love the collection i love the selection of shimmer and matte shadows so that's staying um while i've got this here this is the gingerbread palette i haven't used this one all i can say is that the color story looks fun just from quick observation there are a lot of shimmer shades and it's not really a shimmer to matte balance but it's a fun eyeshadow palette like, i mean i'm looking at it and there's no there is no matte deepening shade so you definitely need to use an accompanying palette unless if you're the type of person that likes to wear shimmer shadows on its own but i haven't used this palette so i really don't know how it performs but i'm gonna keep it maybe i should do a whole week of revolution palettes like as i said in part one guys i'm full of ideas but i just haven't got time this one is one of my older ones and this is the i heart this was when it was i heart makeup like now you've got i heart revolution in the back and the one that i've got says i heart makeup that shows you how old it is this is the i heart makeup chocolate orange palette and i used and abused this because this was my go-to everyday eyeshadow palette before i started expanding my collection quite a bit um i love the color selection but it's so old i think it's time to let it go so i will be decluttering this one next i've got this one which is the honey palette this is what it looks like i haven't used it but just from quick observation it looks like a full-on shimmer eyeshadow palette so again i'm gonna need an accompanying palette for this but the color story looks really fun quite bright um not very much like the colors that i would gravitate towards naturally but i can see cute cute couple of looks being created there are a few repeat shadows in my mind like this one this one this one this one this one they kind of look similar <laughs> and they'll probably translate a little similar on the lid but I'm, I'm excited to try it i mean these two as well but yeah i'm excited to try it so i'll be keeping this one anyway 
Next, I've got the 24K uh, palette. This one also says I Heart Makeup. And I remember this palette came out when Too Faced released their gold chocolate bar palette. And it's really old. I've had this for at least two years. And I have used it quite a bit, as you can see. It's a beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette with that pop of green. It is very old, so I am going to declutter. Next up, I've got this one. This is the I Heart Revolution Slime Palette. Ooh, I haven't used this. I can tell you that. I definitely haven't used this. Um, yeah, I haven't. Uh, but it's a good... It looks like a really fun selection of colours. You've got some really, really bright tones in there. That yellow looks really, really nice. That pink looks nice as well. I mean, what can I tell you? I'm a hoarder. I haven't used it. <laughs> I can not use it, but the palette looks fun. I will definitely be keeping that one. Next up, I've got the Coffee Eyeshadow Palette. And literally looks like this. How cute. This makes me want to have a Starbucks. And I don't think I've used this. No. <gasps> but look at the colors. How mad. Why haven't I used this? What is wrong with me? These colours are right up my alley. I really love these cool tone types of browns with that pop of lilac colour in there. This is a fun palette. I could do so much with this. What is wrong with me? Okay, that's it. I'm vexed now. <laughs> I'm going to do a week of revolution. I heart revolution palette. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one. It's so fun. I uh, don't know if I've used this one. This is the Sprinkles palette. I have not. Again. And this is another fun, bright eyeshadow palette. It looks really, really good. It looks like mostly shimmer, sh shimmer shades as well. So fun. Keeping. Right, next up is this one. This also came in that cherry... Cherry... Um, cherry revolution gift set and this is the sour cherry palette such a beautiful accompanying palette for the um for the other eyeshadow palette so i'm definitely keeping this one next up i've got the rocky road eyeshadow palette i haven't used this but it's so small and so cute i think this would make a beautiful accompanying palette for a lot of those warmer shadow palettes like that brown looks really nice that peachy color looks really really cute so i'm keeping this one actually we'll take it out of the packaging next up is the nude palette it's a small cute little nude eyeshadow palette oh this would make a quick everyday eye I'm getting back into shopping my stash, so I'm quite excited to use little palettes like this. They're so quick. I could use that on the lid, that to deepen my crease and my outer corner and that to just blend out the edges. Probably pop that in the inner corner as a highlighter. Stunning. I've got these um, little I Heart Revolution shadows these little palettes so i'm just gonna quickly show you guys because i'm gonna keep them all i recently talked about them in one of my hauls and this is the heartbreaker palette in daydream it's an all blue eyeshadow palette i haven't used this one let's get rid of the film keeping this one is Lucky. I have used this one on my Instagram and I did enjoy it. These shadows are very pigmented. That's the reason why I'm keeping them. And they're so, so easy to use. So I'm keeping this one. And then this one's called Mystical. I've used this one as well. Very, very easy to use. I wish it was a little bit more purple than it is like red and wine. But it's still a very, very pretty purple palette. And then this one's called Sweetheart. I haven't used this, but it looks really, really romantic. Like for Valentine's looks. And I've got this one, which is called Courage. It's a beautiful red theme eyeshadow palette. Stunning. And then the last one's called Majestic, which is a beautiful neutral eyeshadow palette. Keeping them all. 
So the, those are all the um, shadows from my bottom drawer. The only two that we're getting rid of are these two. So I'm going to pop everything back and then I'm going to grab some more eyeshadow palettes from my other location because I think this is quite comfortable and quite good to show you guys everything. So we'll be working from here. So let me put this away and bring some more for us to review. All right, this is where it's gonna get pretty hard for me because I'm gonna be going through my ABH palettes now. So the first one is the Maya Mia palette and I still have this one. This is old and I mean old, like so freaking old that I can't even use it. Like literally that's what it looks like. It's such a beautiful palette and I loved it when ABH used to put these get the look um, cards in here. This palette is in collaboration with Maya Mia and it's such a beautiful color story. I really like it. I've used it quite a bit. really love that aqua shade. It doesn't perform as well as it, sh as it used to. So sadly, I'm going to be decluttering this. <gasps> god this is difficult okay i promised myself i'm not gonna hoard them because there's no point like what's the point of hoarding these palettes so i'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it as hard as it as it is for me right the next one is the riviera palette this is basically still new i haven't had the chance to use this yet this is what it looks like in case if you haven't seen it. It's a beautiful area of colors. Obviously, we all know this wasn't given its moment to shine. So I'm going to keep it for now and hopefully get around to using this palette a little bit more. Next one is the Tamana palette. And this is the collaboration with Dress Your Face uh, with ABH. I really love this palette. I don't have the back packaging or anything anymore. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful balance of shimmer and matte shades. You can see that there are a lot of shades here that I never even touched. I can count the amount of times I use this palette, but yeah, it's time to let it go. I mean, this, this color is stunning though. If it still performs, I doubt it. Yeah, it's so dull and so patchy now. So, declutter. Next up is my Modern Renaissance palette, and I mentioned this in part one, that um, I have, is it a Wet n Wild palette that kind of reminds me of, I can't remember what palette, but there's a palette that kind of reminds me of the color story, and my Modern Renaissance palette is very, very old now, so I have used this quite a lot, there are a lot of dips in this palette, but I think it's time for me to pass her along and just declutter she's very old um yeah she's she's very old <laughs> she needs to go next is a new purchase for me so abh uk we're doing two eyeshadow palettes for 55 pounds so i picked up two of the eyeshadow palettes that i would readily never pay full price for because i don't really think that they're fully up my alley but i've heard a lot of people rave about them that just makes me curious as to why people love it so first is the novena palette and if you don't know what it looks like this is what it looks like it's a beautiful palette i give it that like it's more beautiful in person than I've seen on, on you know, on the internet or on Instagram or anything. So I'm definitely excited to have her in my collection. We're going to make beautiful memories, hopefully. The second one I picked up is the Carly Bible palette. Again, this is one of those palettes that I just eyed. When it came out, I was like, yeah, Carly girl. You didn't make this palette for me though, did ya? <laughs> because the tones are just so light. But then a lot of people raved about the shimmer shadows and the duochrome shadow and that color called Steve and Cindy that I can actually give it a pass for not having a dark um, deepening eyeshadow because I can combine it with other colors from other palettes. It is very beautiful. It is very, very beautiful. So happy to have it for a fraction of the price of course next up is the artist palette now i remember when this came out 
a lot of people didn't like it they said it was patchy and the colors weren't blending and that yellow shade was really really disappointing and i agree some of the shadows in this palette are so so disappointing but for the most part i do like some of the colors and you can throw together like really easy like a blown out blue look for example and have a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner so i am gonna hang on to this one for now i'm quite annoyed that abh palettes are six months for expiry if you look on the back of your palette it says six months like literally who's gonna use an eyeshadow palette in six months Who's going to use an eyeshadow palette in six months? So it's really making me question why they do that. <laughs> no one's going to finish a palette in six months. So it's ridiculous. And then the next one is one of my favorites from them. And this is the Shadow Control palette. And I love this palette. Look at that. Look at that pan. Juicy pan. And there's almost a pan in pink champagne pink champagne is one of my favorite shades from abh hands down same with fudge fudge is repeated in so many palettes i can't even tell you but it's such a handy eyeshadow palette there was a time where i was traveling a lot and this was a palette of choice so i am gonna keep it because i do love it and i have reached for it quite recently actually this one and the self-made palette so I'm going to hang on to this. Talking of the self-made palette. Self-made palette also has... Um, let's take this off. <laughs> self-made palette also has pink champagne in it. That's part of the reason why I really love it, which is that color. And yeah, it's such a handy eyeshadow palette. I should probably use some of these other shades, but I'm a stickler for... You know, I like what I like, and I gravitate to the same colors. But I need to push myself to use other shades. But yeah, self-made self is staying. Up, we've got the Jackie Aina palette. Um, and before COVID hit, this was my palette of choice when traveling. And it's stunning. I've used her. I love her. That color called Sponsored is my favorite from the palette. Same as Dwellers. I think they're such gorgeous shades. I've started using Wigglies a little bit more and Shookington, but for the most part, I really, really enjoy this palette. I think Jackie knocked it out of the park. Like, she did her thing. Such a stunning palette. I'm looking forward to another collaboration because I think she's doing, she's doing really, really well. And I'd love to see what other makeup collaborations she comes out with next year. Next is Soft Glam. This was a gift. So this was a birthday present. I got a lot of ABH palettes as my birthday presents <laughs> that um, went by. So I'm really, really appreciative because some of these shadows I would never readily buy. Like Self Glam is one of those palettes I wouldn't buy myself just because it's a neutral palette. And I feel like I've got loads of neutrals, but I do want it. You know, you still want it. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. I have used it quite recently in a shop by Stash. It's a very easy everyday eyeshadow palette. Just throw it on. You're good to go. You leave the house. You're done. So I love it. Definitely staying. Staying, staying. I love it. Does me good. Up is the subculture palette uh again i recently did a shop my stash using this one my shop my stashes have been private but i do want to start recording them in the new year so hopefully and this is what mine looks like and i don't know what people are saying i absolutely love this palette i think this color called electric is such a beautiful green eyeshadow palette I think people are just hating on this formula. I think it's, it's, I mean, it's dusty, it's dusty, but it's pigmented and you get exactly what it is that you're trying to achieve. So I'm definitely hanging on to that one. Next up is the Prism palette. I have, have I used this at all? Yes, I have used this, but I could definitely use it a bit more. That color called Dimension, it looks like one of the shadows from the Carly Bible palette. But look at that. That is just beautiful. So I definitely need to bring this girl out more and use her this year. So I love 
palette and I'm definitely keeping. Next up, I've got another one that I got as a birthday present from one of my good friends. And this is the Soul Tree palette. Now, this one I've been wanting and I've been missing the restock of it because I missed it when he first came out. And it's cool tone. It's neutral. It's everything I'm about. I love it. I love the tones in this palette. I haven't used it. I can't wait to use it. But it's so pretty. Oh, my God. It's just everything I love in a cool tone neutral palette. So... I could have done without that shade, but you know, we move. This is this is a pretty palette. Keeping. So that is all of my smaller ABH palettes. Uh, we'll be hitting the bigger ones later on. Probably not in this video. <laughs> so next up, I've got a couple of MAC palettes. So this is the MAC Cinderella palette. Um, this came out as part of the Cinderella collection. I picked up this palette. I picked up the lip glosses, the highlighters. I have since then sold the highlighters but the lipsticks i absolutely love and i've been using it in a shop my stash the eyeshadow palette is stunning you know what for mac i never know how long is long enough to keep an eyeshadow palette but i do want to push myself to use this palette a little bit more because it is a cool tone eyeshadow palette and i do love cool tone palettes but don't know why i've just you know with mac i've just moved it to the side and started playing with other shadows but i could probably use it in a shop my stash like there's really nothing wrong with the palette and then this one is much older this is the mac rihanna collaboration when this came out this was my go-to for everything sexy any sultry smoky eye i wanted to do was this guy and this shimmer shade on the lid, that in the inner corner, that along the lower lash line, Bob's your uncle. Look at that. Still so pretty. Still so pretty. So I'll I'll hang on to these for now. See how I get on. They may not make it in the next review and declutter, but for now I'm gonna hang on. The next two are part of the MAC Mara Carry collaboration she came out with highlighter body glow lipstick um these eyeshadow palettes i want to say that i picked every single thing up <laughs> and i have been using them and i do love them i haven't used them lately but this is such an easy cool tone eyeshadow palette what is wrong with me i think it's because they're in this bloody packaging and i can't see them so i think i'm going to be getting rid of the packaging and just because it's so pretty isn't it display it and hopefully get some more use so this one is called i'm that chick you like and then this one is called it's everything oh it's so pretty but i haven't really used this have i like these two this shade has definitely never been used and this one is so pretty oh my days look at that that is gorgeous. All right, I'm keeping them. One of the eyeshadow palettes that actually surprised me this year, and this is the Viseart Dark Edits palette. And when I saw this palette on the website, I thought it was a little bit bigger. I've never tried Viseart eyeshadow palettes, and so I was expecting like overpriced nonsense. But let me tell you something: Viseart know what they're doing. This is such a good eyeshadow palette like what the pigmentation of these shadows is just beautiful the amount of product you get is just enough and i think it's such a good travel palette plus you can pop these guys out and put them in a z palette or move them around if you've got loads of like minis like this i do plan on getting a couple of more next year but honestly guys if you've not tried this particular one definitely give it a go i've used it and i love it so much i love it and so we'll be keeping i've got the huda bc emerald obsessions palette i do have a look on um youtube using this palette and i love it um for a green eyeshadow palette there are a couple of shimmer shades that are you know lots to be desired especially that one is so crumbly but for the most part, I did enjoy this palette and I will be hanging on to it. 
Next up, I've got the Ruby Obsessions palette. Again, I've got a look on YouTube using this. Um, and I did enjoy this one a little bit more and I have used it a couple more times since then. And it's such a beautiful full red theme eyeshadow palette. So I'll definitely be keeping this. Last mini that I have is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsession. This was an obsession of mine for a long time, especially that shadow. You can see that there's a good dip in there. And I really love this for deepening the outer corner. It's a very easy, decent eyeshadow palette. Pigmentation is okay. The shimmer shades are pretty and it's just really easy to use. So I'm definitely going to keep this. This one is from Aether Beauty. Aether Beauty is a um, an indie brand. I really love Aether Beauty products. I haven't given them as much love as I should. But their eyeshadow palettes are ethical. Packaging is ethical. So this one is called... What's this one called? This one is called the Topaz Mini Crystal Palette. And the pigmentation of these shadows, guys... Let me tell you something. The pigmentation of Aether Beauty shadows is beautiful. Look at that. That is just stunning and such an easy eyeshadow palette. I can't rave enough about the quality of their shadows. I think that um, they're truly well and truly slept on as an indie brand, as most indie brands are anyway. But I'm definitely going to be hanging on to them and I need to give them some more love hopefully this year but yeah i'm keeping this one next up i've also got the what's this one called the uh amateur mini crystal palette i probably butchered that one thing i don't really like i hate packaging guys if you've not noticed probably should just take these out of the packaging maybe so this is what this one looks like. I haven't used this, but it's so pretty. So pretty. And I think I am going to take it out of the packaging because it's just so hard to take out. And they come with these cute little cards. So this one says there are no highlights without the lows. So I love that. So I'm keeping these two. And then the bigger palette that I've got is the Joshua Tree Desert Matte Palette. Uh, if you've been following me on Instagram and also here on YouTube, you know that I've been using their blush palette quite a lot in my tutorials. So this is the matte eyeshadow palette. I've got swatches of this on my swatch page. The pigmentation of these shadows is crazy. And all the mini palettes, you can accompany them with this nice full matte palette. So yeah keeping this one probably without the box next one is from mel cosmetics and this is the gemini palette this is the better of the two that i have in my opinion but i'm not gonna lie guys i struggle to use the shimmer shadows from melt but i picked up this palette because there are only two shimmer shadows in this one and the matte shades are so pretty so pigmented very very easy to use i really love it i haven't given it as much love as i should but it's such a good palette if you can look past the shimmer or if you know how to make it work and then the one that i'm least in love with is the smoke session palette which looks like this it's a very very beautiful cannabis <laughs> cannabis type of palette and it looks like this the color story is right up my alley it's everything i love and more but there are more shimmer shades than there are matte shades in this palette and i struggle with the shimmer shades you guys can see how much damage i've done to that end shade but i do want to try a little bit more there are um stiffer shadow brushes that i can use to try and pick up the product a little bit more more like the spatula types of um brushes so we'll see how i get on but um for now i'll keep them next up i've got the venus 2 palette this is what this one looks like i currently i this is what this one looks like i recently put this in the shop my stash 
and I didn't get around to using it just because it just didn't it just didn't excite me enough to want to use it but this shadow this color just makes me want to keep it because of the pigmentation of it it's just so nice so that's the only reason why I really want to keep it and I really want to try it um because I didn't really get to use it when it first came out and I when I first purchased it so I am gonna hang on to this for now and then I've got the Venus palette uh which looks like this this one I have used a little bit more, believe it or not, but there are two shades that I haven't touched at all. So I am going to keep this because, as I said, with Shop My Stash, I do want to try all the shadows in my collection, see if I still love them. If I don't, then definitely they're up for declutter, but um, I haven't given this as much love as I should. Next up, I've got the one and only eyeshadow palette that I have from Charlotte Tilbury and it's this one which is called the iconic or uh, which is called the icon palette and i have used this quite a bit and um, there was a time i just went a whole week using this eyeshadow palette but even if you don't use it as much it does always still look battered <laughs> but um i can tell you guys that i have used it the shades are more of your like semi matte type of shades with some shimmer shades these ones are really really metallic looking and then you've got these ones are a little duller they're like um semi matte palette semi matte shades for the most part it's a really really easy to use eyeshadow palette i do love the pigmentation so i will be keeping this one i'll probably keep it out of the packaging just because it's the same thing next up i've got this one from bella pierre and this is the 12 color pro natural eye palette and i remember this palette i loved using this palette the pigmentation is there the color story is gorgeous simple everyday looks um i did wish there was a darker brown in this palette and uh, to make it like an all-round type of shadow palette but it's still really nice because you've got that black in there so i am gonna keep this palette I did say to you guys, it isn't going to be a huge declutter, just some older palettes here and there. Next up, I've got the New Nudes eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. And this is what it looks like. Everyone and their mama have tried to dupe this palette. Some successful, some not so successful. But this is what it looks like. It's a very light palette. Even for me, it's quite light. Um, so I don't really gravitate towards it. Plus, there's this concealer thing here which is confusing like no one needs that um i think i need to give this a little bit more love and see how i feel like i haven't even touched these shades at all so i am gonna keep it and probably use it in a shock my stash or something but i'm not blown away mad about it it's just okay and then I've also got the Rose Gold Remastered Palette. Now, this one I absolutely freaking love. And I've used it on my Instagram quite a lot. I really love the shades. This is such a beautiful day to night eyeshadow palette. It's so romantic, so easy to use. I really love the pigmentation. Not really a huge fan of the shimmer shadows because they're the ones that pick up better with your finger. But I'm trying to get over the whole pick up the shadow with your finger type of thing. So I will be keeping this because I do enjoy this palette. And then I've also got the Desert, du Desert Dusk palette, which looks like this. I've used this on my Insta on my YouTube quite recently in a eyeshadow roulette type of thing. I need to do that more. Um, but I did enjoy this palette for the most part i think the shadows are dark enough to work on my skin tone you get a good array of beautiful colors i could have done without this uh pressed glitter in there other than that i think it's an it's an okay palette and i do like it so i will be keeping next up i've got this bronze palette from natasha denona and this is the palette that made me hooked on Natasha Denona palette. I think she is such an amazing artist and the 
products that she's released are fantastic i love this palette like i have got nothing else to say if i didn't have any other palette in my collection and i had this i think i would survive it's such an all-round palette it gives me that sexy smoky eye if i want it. it gives me that neutral eye it gives me that bridal eye it gives me that wedding guest eye i love it so stunning so pigmented so easy to use and handy next up i've got the ace beauty oceanic palette this is the only palette i have from this brand and it's a blue eyeshadow palette to be honest i haven't featured this as um, a palette on its own i've used it in collaboration with many other palettes and i always enjoy the pigmentation and how the shadows pick up so definitely excited to showcase it as like a full palette on its own next up i've got this palette this is the pure x barbie eyeshadow palette called endless possibilities 2 and this packaging is one of the girliest prettiest packaging that i have in my collection very very nice good attention to detail and i was expecting it to be like an all pink palette but i was so pleasantly surprised that you've got these gorgeous neutral tones in there and that pop of blue which just makes it like a really unique all-rounded palette i wish there was a black in there but um i am so happy with the color story and i could have done with a little bit more um consistency in the shape of the shadows maybe just squares so that you could fit in some more shadows in there but you know it's pretty and that is a beautiful highlighter as well if you're interested so i will be keeping next up i've got this palette from Uoma beauty this is the black magic palette and I don't have that much to say about this palette. I mean, I used it for a look that I did with Look Fantastic. And I did enjoy the red shadows and the blue. But as you can see, I haven't really given it the full beat down. I could have done with a warmer shadow rather than this one. But I think it's a nice palette. I just haven't had the time to really go in and really test out the full formula and potential of the palette. But i'll keep it for now next up is this palette from ilamasca and this is what it looks like i think i remember that this was all right it wasn't fantastic um i don't think yeah it wasn't a fantastic palette i think it was just okay um so i'm gonna declutter this so we've got a couple of shadows from tarte First off is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I've had this several times in my collection at different points in my life. This one and the um, first, you know, the purple one. I absolutely love Tarte palettes. Like, I love their eyeshadows, period. I just love it because they're just your practical, everyday, easy-to-use eyeshadows. They're so stunning, so pigmented, so easy-to-use, so buttery and i'm i'm just a huge fan this is a very good everyday palette like tell me something else this is so good so i'm keeping this because it smells yum next up i've got this one this was just a um random purchase to be honest just to make my bag like free shipping or something i can't really remember but this is a spicy bitch palette and I've actually seen some reviews of this and people really love this palette. I can't tell you anything about it. I haven't used it. I haven't even... Okay, I've swatched one color. But I haven't used it. So I can't tell you if I love it or not. I love the color story. Love the pigmentation. But I haven't used it. So I'll keep it. Then we've got this one. This is... What is this? This is the Busy Gal Goals Eye and Cheek Palette. And this is not cheeking me, definitely. But the eye part, I could live with. It's beautiful. So shiny, isn't it? Oh! Okay. I don't like the fact that Tarte palettes don't go further than this. But it is beautiful. Um, Let's see if I can do this. How about that? It is a beautiful palette. 
um i will keep it there's nothing other to say than it's beautiful that is a beautiful shimmer shade i think i don't know i'll keep it <laughs> without the box next i've got the tartlet toasted palette i've used this quite quite recently on my instagram and i love it it's so warm and yummy and the look that i created was so grown up so sexy yes so i'm keeping next up i've got this one this is a tartis pro palette and recently used this on youtube um in a full face of tart makeup that color reminds me of the shade from the lime crime venus 2 palette but yeah i loved this palette and i love the look that i created with this palette so this is a classic for me so i'm gonna keep this this is a tartis pro remix palette i haven't used this yet so i don't know what the formula of this but if it's anything to go by from the other ones then i'm definitely gonna love it this is a very shimmer heavy eyeshadow palette i think the background is quite busy as well but the color story is gorgeous so definitely gonna try this out soon i hope so that's all i've got for tart at the moment and then next is the sigma warm neutrals volume 2 palette i think everyone and their mama has this palette in their collection at some point just because it's an everyday palette for me it's an everyday easy to use eyeshadow palette so i love it i think i get on well with the formula i think the pigmentation is all right and it has a mirror which just makes it really easy to use and really travel friendly so i will keep it then we've got my one and only pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette I do have a review of this palette up on my YouTube channel if you're interested. And this is the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity palette. It's a very um, shimmer heavy eyeshadow palette with a couple of mattes. But those shimmers are gorgeous. Very, very pigmented. You've got a few dual chrome and maybe some multi-chrome shadows in this palette. I am in love. Keep it last but not least i've got my ofra palette to show you guys in this video this one is the new solstice palette this recently came out and or it's coming out i think this is the one that is this the one that's coming out i'm not sure there is a new palette no this one is the holiday holiday collection palette i believe the colors are stunning um doesn't have a mirror or anything but you've got this beautiful shimmer shade in the middle called rodeo drive and then you've got these gorgeous eyeshadows and blushes such an easy face palette i love it eye and face palettes i'm keeping next up is the glitch 2000 palette now this is the only ofra palette i didn't really get along with I mean, I don't really like the pigmentation of the, these, uh, I mean, I don't really like the pigmentation of this formula. There's this one and then there's the glitch palette. I didn't really enjoy it, but um, I'm on Ofra's PR list. So I'm going to keep this because I really want to do justice to Ofra products. I did mention this in my first declutter that I actually do want to dedicate some time testing out Ofra palettes properly and the one that i'm talking about is the glitch palette this was the first eyeshadow palette i ever tried from ofra and i'm not gonna lie i wasn't a huge fan but i just feel like i didn't give it as much time and love which i really need to so i'm gonna keep it for now and then this is my favorite of all of them that i've tried anyway and this is the pro palette this is what it looks like. I've used it quite a bit. You've got some eyeshadows, you've got blush, you've got beautiful highlighters. The highlighters are called All of the Lights and Soho. Beautiful. And I think these are brow. Why do I think that they're brow product? But they're so nice. So easy to use. Very, very easy to use. Eyeshadow palette comes with a mirror as well. Really, really sturdy, good quality palette. 
So let's see the eyeshadow palettes that I'm getting rid of this time. So I'm only getting rid of five eyeshadow palettes, but that's five of many. <laughs> I almost missed out this one, so this will also be decluttered. So all in all, I'm getting rid of three ABH palettes, two I Heart Revolution, and one Illamasqua palette. So I'm going to bin these because they're really, really old. And that is all that I've got to show you guys in part two. Um, I do have quite a couple more parts to show you guys. I'm hoping I can get this into four parts, hopefully. But there's quite a lot of eyeshadow palettes to go through. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please definitely check out part one of my video. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy declutter or collection videos. This is more of a collection, to be honest, with a little bit of declutter here and there. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. But anyway, I hope to speak to you guys soon. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to someone today. And I'll catch you guys in a future video. And black lives will always matter, girl. <laughs> and I'll speak to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.